Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Your eternal destiny will bring glory to God now and forever. And when will it, why will it bring glory to God? It will bring glory to God now and forever if at all you are a born again Christian in Him. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is why there is that verse which says and which is quoted most of the times that God has not light in a death of a righteous man. Praise the name of the Lord. So, if you have hope in Christ Jesus and if you have eternal life your destiny or your eternal destiny will bring glory to God now and forever. Now means when you are there, when you are living. And even when you die, forever it will bring glory to God because you are not a waste. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So the time to understand yourself and to correct yourself and to ask God to lead you and to ask God to bless you and to ask God to live a righteous life is just now when you are alive that you may God bring glory to him. And even when you will have passed, when your generation is passing, that you will bring glory to him. People will not come to your burials to, 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 to mourn. They will just come to celebrate. Why? Because you had hope. And you also created hope in them. And you helped in them. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Even if there is any one of them who will cry, they will be remembering the way you used to live with them. Amen. Amen. And you also leave your character in them. Because you taught them, you created hope in them, so they can create hope to others. Amen. Are you an example? What is the name of the Lord? Amen. How many of you, how many have you preached to? How many have you encouraged? Amen. Amen. So it brings glory to God, your eternal destiny. Now and forever. And I say now means when you are living. Because everything is in your capability, you can even access it. You can be able to pray for somebody. You can be able to encourage somebody. You can be able to preach to somebody. You can be able to go and help somebody. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It is the time when you are alive, when you create your destiny to be more colorful than when you are dead. Because you are not there to create your destiny to be, to be colorful. Amen. I was at home, I was speaking to some people who are heading to have a wedding. And now I was telling them that some other things also, because they, uh, most of them they were complaining that we are being fought, let us send that right because of having our weddings. I told them, no, there are some things we also need to use wisdom. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm not ignorant that the devil is not working. I understand it works. But I also want to tell you, you cannot start with Alex when he is in need and you expect him to stand with you. He might stand with you because he is God-fearing even when you didn't stand with him. But you find that the same will be paid, but not by Alex, but somebody else will not come. The only person you thought he is next to you, he will not come. It will be implicated to you when you are in need. So I was trying to tell them that whenever others have need, whenever others are preparing their pre-weddings, show yourself to them. Be there with them. And I would like also to speak to the church this morning that whenever your friend is in need, Start with him. I don't know why I got this message when our pastor is having a hard time. Praise the name of the Lord. But I'm not fearing to speak this. 
because even if it was not like that, I would have spoken it. When you run from your friends during the time of need, I would like to tell you one day will come when people will run from you when you are in need. I don't say that you are bewitched. You are not bewitched. Church, you are bewitching yourself by doing things which are not supposed to be done. And when that time comes, don't call me as a pastor. Come pray with me. I will not pray with you. That is a demon that you would have even straight away during the right time. That is not a demon to be prayed for. Pastor, never pray for somebody who has had that spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. I assure you, if you run from people because they are having need, time will come. You will call us as a church and because we fear God, we will come. But you find us, we are coming, we are coming, five of us and you had 50 friends. The others will run away from you. Not because you did wrong to them, but they will run away from you so that you may be red. And we know your true colors. Amen. Amen. So when you are in need, don't tell pastor to come and pray with you when you are supposed to have chased that demon by yourself. There are things, pastors, we should pray for. And there are things we should not pray for. There are things which need to, to use wisdom. At least I'm going to listen here. Are you hearing me? Are you understanding what I'm saying? Are you understanding what the Spirit of the Lord is saying? Be connected. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Our God is not ignorant of such issues. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I'm not trying to tell you to stand with the people that they will stand with you. In fact, even if they run away from you, God will create a way that you find others who never know you. They will come to you. But as so long as you remain faithful. Amen. Amen. Because you are supposed to serve as an example. How will you preach to the world when you are running from people when they are in need? And this also happens to the judges. You find when the judges are is under construction, members are not there. They go away completely. My speaking to somebody. Yes. If your pastor is building, can you stand with him when you are building? By the way, if you come back when we are built, how will you call that your church? And you are not you, you are you, you are you are you are not new there. You were there when it was being started. Church, serve God with your substances. Praise the name of the Lord. And serving God with your substances, one for you to have internal uh, 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 internal destiny. One is serving God in the church and also serving God as you serve the people of God in the church. You cannot avoid this. Spend and be spent in the ministry. For you to be spent in the ministry, you have also to spend your substances. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I know I don't tell that here. They will cancel me after the, the church. <laughs> So be watchful, be careful, be alert when I'm preaching that you'll be able to cancel me, but make sure you cancel me in the right way. Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The Lord help us. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Point number three at the last point. It is powerful, mighty. And strong. Your internal destiny is more powerful than anything the enemy brings in attempts to destroy you. Amen.